Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here. And I thought long and hard about making this video. I kind of wanted to wait until I finished playing Tears of the Kingdom to actually do a full review. But I think it's going to be a minute before I get there. Um, and I will say going into this video, there are going to be some spoilers. So I'm going to post some gameplay clips here and there. And so certain things in the game will be spoiled. So if you haven't yet had a chance to play it or dig into it and want to go in completely fresh, I would say step away from the video, come back a little bit later uh, once you've had an opportunity to do that and then kind of share your thoughts. But Rather than wait and do that full review because it's going to be a little while before I am fully finished with the game, I thought I would just offer kind of my impressions after having a full weekend to play this. So let's jump right into it. Hey, as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to click that subscribe button. And as always, I very much appreciate your viewership. So I picked up this game on Friday. I had it delivered via Amazon. My children also wanted to play it, so they have a copy of it. And we basically spent the entire weekend playing it. I got it Friday night, stayed up to 1.30 playing it. I could not put it down. Saturday, my son had a, a basketball game in the morning. And so when we got home, my wife had some stuff to do. And I was like, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to order a couple of pizzas. We've got some uh, soda and stuff to drink. We're just going to have a game day. And we played it for hours on end. Even on Sunday, we played it a good bit. And I got to tell you, you know, even though Breath of the Wild was my favorite Zelda game leading up to this, even though I'm not done with this yet, and at this point I've probably put, I don't know, 15 hours into it, just kind of guesstimating, maybe longer than that, probably, actually. But anyway, I think this is better. Uh, I think this is probably the best Zelda game ever made, which I know is no small statement to make. Prior to Breath of the Wild, for me, that would have been Ocarina of Time, but I think this improves on Breath of the Wild in just about every way. There are some complaints that people can definitely levy toward this, right? Because it does use the same version of Hyrule uh, that we saw in Breath of the Wild, but everything's improved, and it is a markedly different game for a number of different reasons. One of the things that I absolutely love is Ultra Hand. I mean, I think this ability completely transforms Zelda, and I can't imagine a game where you don't have the ability to do this now. It makes it sort of an endlessly fun thing. And if you spent any time on social media over the past few days, seeing what people have made with Ultra Hand is hysterical, right? People have used it to hilarious effect. But I have used it to get around a number of different puzzles that I'm not sure were intended to be completed in the way that I did it, right? One of those was in the Water Temple. There's this giant room where you're trying to adjust the water level, you're raising it, kind of, you know, the sort of stuff you would see in other Water Temples and other Zelda games. But I got to a point to where I thought, well, what if I just take a bunch of planks and boards and just attach them together and see if I can make a gigantic bridge? And it completely worked. I was able to get around it. There was another moment where I was working through a shrine and I had a hard time getting some pillars to do what I wanted them to do. And I thought, well, what if I just take a pillar, put it on a platform and try to actually climb it? Because you usually can't climb things in the shrines or at least the walls. Totally worked. Let me get around it with a little bit of uh, cheese, as my kids call it. But it was crazy. It's just an amazing game that offers players the opportunity to do things with a variety of different solutions. Beyond Ultra Hand, Rewind is amazing. It's a great mechanic to let you get to very uh, high heights quickly when you need to do that. Ascend is equally awesome. Some people might say it's a lazy gameplay mechanic, but I love it. I think it just... It takes away some of the, I don't know, the slowness that comes with kind of the typical climbing mechanic, even though that's still present and an important part of the game. This lets you kind of traverse things a little bit more quickly. Everything about this game is great. I think the shrines are, are really good so far. I think the dungeons or the temples, to use the terminology from the game, are better than what we got with the Divine Beast in Breath of the Wild. I think the story is more fleshed out. And this is completely nerdy of me, but I seriously got goosebumps when you get the title screen in this game. The title screen in Breath of the Wild is amazing. I got goosebumps with that one too. That was recreated here in a different manner. And honestly, the early part of the story, right within the first five, six, seven minutes, something like that, was just awesome. Where you see Link coming face to face with, with what is presumably Ganondorf, this sort of mummified version of him, or one of his evil minions, something like that. I'm not 100% sure yet. But where you see all of his hearts that he had from Breath of the Wild get reduced down to three. It's just such a great introduction. I think the characters and the different places in Hyrule are a little bit more fleshed out this time. The story is just a little bit more uh, coherent. It just is a little bit more involved. You get more invested in it. It's just great. The music also is fantastic. I, I just Everything about this game is super addictive. I just cannot put it down. I can't tell you how long it's been that I have stayed up into the wee hours of the morning playing a game that I just really was hooked on and thought, let me just do that one more thing. Honestly, it may have been the it may have been Breath of the Wild, but honestly, a game that it brings to mind too, besides Breath of the Wild, of course, is Immortals Phoenix Rising. I think that is a 
wildly overlooked game. A lot of people have never checked that out, but if you like Zelda Breath of the Wild type styles of games, that's right in that vein, and it's an awesome game to check out. So that's it in a nutshell. I mean, my impression so far is that Nintendo has hit a home run again. I think all of the 10 out of 10 masterpiece scores that we've seen are completely justified. I know some people would like to see this on more modern hardware. Um, I have not noticed any crazy performance issues with the game. Every now and then the frame rate will dip a little bit, but because it's so stylized, it just works well. It's just such a joy to play. Like I, I love picking up my Switch controller, sitting down, uh, to play this, a smile comes over my face. It's just one of those things that I have thoroughly enjoyed with my time uh, with it so far. And just to give you an update on kind of where I'm at, for those of you that have played it, I've gotten through two of the temples so far. I have done the Water Temple and the Wind Temple. I'm working toward the Fire Temple right now. But I'm also trying to slow down a little bit. I'm trying to take more time exploring. That's another piece of this, right? The fact that you've got an entire sky region to check out, which is mostly kind of islands that are interconnected up in the clouds, really cool, a lot of stuff to check out there, but then the depths. That is a completely new element to the Zelda universe that just makes this so much better than so many of the other offerings that we've had. There's just so much to do to this game or in this game that I, I don't know when I'll, or if I'll ever 100% it. I probably will never 100% it for sure. I didn't 100% Breath of the Wild. I got pretty deep into that. I kind of got hung up on the Korok seeds. I got to like 400, 450, just decided, okay, that's enough. I don't need to get all 900 of them. But I really see myself playing this for years. I am super into it. It's everything I could have wanted in a Zelda game. And it's interesting, right? When you think about Game of the Year contenders, like I, I just, it, for my money, right? Like I don't know that anything can beat this. I haven't seen anything that can beat this so far. Now, granted, I have not played every uh, new game that is released and has garnered a ton of high scores, but... I just don't see how something's going to beat this. Maybe Starfield is going to come out and just be this really sort of mega hit that we're all hoping it will be. But what's interesting about this, and I don't want to go too far off topic, is you compare what Nintendo has done here. They took six years or so to develop this as compared to Redfall, which had you know a decent amount of development time, of course, but just was super buggy on its release. This is just a masterwork. It's a marvel of game design in every sense of the word. It just makes you wonder... Again, not to go off topic, but what is going on at Xbox? I mean, Nintendo has got this down pat. They, they find ways to reinvent their IPs, uh, you know, in such a way that just makes it in instantly engaging for everybody, infinitely engaging on sort of a long-term scale. You just have to wonder what is going on with some of these other game studios. But anyway, I love it. Nintendo, thank you for this amazing game. I'm going to continue playing it. I'll let you know when I get completely finished with it, my overall thoughts and final review. But that's kind of sort of what this is, an initial final review, if that makes sense. But anyway, if you've been playing it, let me know your thoughts below. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll check back in soon.